Mark V on Norway versus Germany, realistic battle. Tempest and the Horton just took each other out. Uh, we're just flying this plane out. Um, I was about to spade this aircraft on this flight. So this is a spaded Tempest, um, except for the rockets and the last modification that I needed. Got a meteor on our team right there. Some American jets, F-84. And then, uh, <laughs> Two pairs of bombers. I mean, that's. I mean, going out B 29 is pretty scary. So two of them are real scary. So, too bad they couldn't wait for the B 24s. But they are slower. Horton, trying to engage a meteor. Maybe he'll be distracted enough for me to get a shot. I doubt it. But you never know. He's bringing a head up. Wasted some shots there. Just diving away. I'm not sure why the Horton didn't bring a turn battle only because the P-47 was diving in, but that's what usually Hortons will do. The meteor's diving in on him. So he's like right there in the middle of the whole team, so I don't really feel like chasing him since if I give up position or dive at him, he'll most likely not get the kill because of the jet. He's probably running away. So that's why I just took those shots, some that head on. I don't know why he didn't return fire, but I'm just going full maneuver. <laughs> it works for him. The German team is losing several people. Are they down to only three aircraft? I can't be right. Oh no, there we go. One. Oh, there you go. There you go. Three, four. Diving in on this 109. Cutting engine power. Hoping that my teammates don't kill this guy. At least I want to get a couple shots and get an assist. There you go, get the hit or miss. Now slowly bring it out. I have plenty of altitude, don't need to jerk on the stick too hard because you can rip your wings off. It's violent. Maneuvers at a high speed. So I think I got hits on that guy. He's taking he was taking some shots and utility at me, but wasn't worried about it. And boom, got the assist as the P-47 dives in and finished him off. Oh no, the uh, F-8 got the kill. Taking some AAA, the new sound, that new updated AAA sound. Disconnected. Slide off from the There's a uh, Curtis again. There. Here, you know, call Curtis. It's called Curtis. Two two five and it's two two nine. Triple A does sound pretty cool now. Oop, I lost sight of him on the replay. Maybe I, yeah, maybe I've lost sight of him on the match as well. Oh no, there he is. Up above me. Oh yeah. So he's above me. But I've got these two guys to help us, or help me, help each other. And if we kind of stay near each other, that's what I'm thinking. We can't dive on us without at least picking up some sort of tail. There's also a meteor here, so that's definitely 
stacked in our favor. Let's get back to these guys. Got a pretty good duel going on. This is important as uh, managing all three of us. Plus, that meteor is lurking somewhere. And I'm just trying to maintain my speed. Oh no, here he comes. <coughs> I was just trying to maintain speed at low, you know, below them, so if he does come at me, I do have enough energy to pull defensive maneuvers. And now he's right on my tail. Just missed those shots. Rolling with each other. Uh, I thought he was going to disengage at this point. He's gonna come back around. And I dive down, trying to get under his guns, it works. He's just above me there. Pop a little flap. Under the guns again. Teammates helping out. Distracting and making his shots even harder, so I definitely owe them. Gratitude's taking shots at the P47 as he went by. The M, that new premium American plane. I heard it's broken and really stupid powerful. Spitfire is trying to turn with him. I'm trying to turn with him. He's chasing the P-47, I think. Yep. Let me get those guns on. Go. Flip his wing. One Horton down. That Horton had several <laughs> decent chances to shoot me down. They were rolling with each other. That was super fun. I was definitely had my heart going after that one. Uh, you know, I was below him and just chose my target and here's my crew. <laughs> oh yeah, pop a little smoke like, yup. We did it. I saw the team, there are three Arados left. Two cannon variants and one that is the uh, standard version of our cannons on board. All that fun AAA. I saw a dot out this way with the meteor. I'm not, I'm not 100%, percent do not remember. Oh yeah, there he is. Low. The Arados. Let's try to go low, keep their speed up. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to catch him. So I'm just flying out there just in case, you know, he pulled a, a maneuver to try and get away from the meteor uh, or something along those lines. And then I think at, at this point in the match, yeah, it's just the Arados. And um, I almost missed this next guy coming up. I don't know why, I just checked my six. I mean, I'm I just having four discipline checking my six. Oh, there's no more fighters, there's just Dorados. I was just, you know, trying to spot those dots in the distance. And then there he is. I do not see him. I don't, I don't, <laughs> like he's below me. I think I might see him as I see the Spitfire go after him. Maybe even, not even then. Okay, there he is. I do see him finally. Dive in, it was almost too late. Dive in long trajectory. Boom. I, I clipped his wing right there, but I'm not sure if I super critically damaged him because I can't really see him now. I see his listing. I'm trying to get a couple bursts, I'm trying to get maybe one more piece of damage to take him down, but I've already done the damage. I clipped his wing. And he 
crashes. So second jet kill the match for the Tempest. Try to catch him, but I couldn't run her over just quickly enough. So he's deciding to do a little turn fight. I'm not sure if he has can though. He does not have cannon, so I'm going to try to ram the meteor. I think I got a hit in there, but nothing critical. Come back around. I'm pretty confident I can turn with them. Can I do that? That was a P47. I, missed, I think he missed many of those shots. He's going up vertical. Take him out there. As he falls behind me with the jet engines going. Oh, let's get him in here. Yeah, so that's the third jet kill. I think it does take a second to find this next jet, so let's speed her up. There's the last Dorado. What did I see? Is he finally making his way back? Maybe somebody call out a grid number. I'm just heading towards it. And now there's the dot right there. So I saw the dot heading towards them. Now on this one, well, let's see. I'll have time to see it. So he does have cannon rounds. He used some on the P47, so I'm assuming he's going to have ammo left. Taking shots of the meteor. Okay, that, that was a pretty long burst. Okay, it seems like he's going head up for me. Like, this is, you know, pretty much all he can do is just try these heads up, try and get lucky, get the shot. I maneuver for his long shots. Put the rudder back on. Nail his engine, right? So I just hit him right there. Injured his engine. And then um, let's go see this guy. DHL. The Raptor? <laughs> or the Raptor? Okay, so he pops the yellow smoke. See, I critted that inside engine. So he probably is like, eh, forget it. He puts on the yellow smoke. And then I think he's about to J out. And that's what gives me my fourth kill. You know? Oh, just before he shot at me? Yeah, I guess he was trying. <laughs> He trolled that, uh, whatever that was, that meteor, that was pretty funny. Just as the shells were about to land, he jumped out and gave me the kill, so. You can only thank him for that. <coughs> Didn't need to RP, I mean, I spaded the aircraft with the first kill, so. Probably would have done it if I got no kills. But yeah, it's one of my better matches in Realistic. Uh, with the Allies defeating the Germans on Norway.